guys, Heidi here. Um, wanted to kind of touch base with you. It's been a while, and so wanted to make a vlog. I apologize for the way I look. I just got back from a run. Um, I had a good idea on my run, and I didn't want to pass it up and forget about it, so that's why I look the way I look. do. Um, I wanted to dis discuss safety. Uh, in the area in which I live, I don't always live in the best area, and... Um, I've had a few run-ins, not necessarily with people, but situations that were questionable, and I kind of wanted to discuss those and see also possibly what you do in the situation. So, um, number one, when I see anybody, I tend to acknowledge them in some way, um, whether it's just a, you know, kind of like a nod, a uh, hey, or something, you know, just so I'm not rude, number one, um, and number two, they, you know, they know that I'm not oblivious to the situation, that I'm not in my own little world, that I'm aware that they are there, and this goes for athletes, for people just on their joy rides, on their bikes, um, people going to work, or whatever they may be doing, I try to at least acknowledge them in some way, so that's the one thing I do. Another thing I do, um, I've been lucky enough to be able to run during daylight hours this year due to my work schedule, but in the past I've had to run either at night or in the early morning hours and it's dark out, which actually I love doing that at that time, but sometimes you have more safety issues at that time. So um, one thing I used to do when I ran in the dark was I had this little thing here. It's kind of cool. It has like a light on it and then it has like a glow stick and it has different settings that you can have it blink. And another cool thing um, is it has a whistle on the end. So if something were to happen, it'd just be one, once again, it'd be another um, precautionary measure. I found it at Home Depot. Um, I'm sure you can find it at many you know, other home improvement stores. Um, but I thought it was pretty cool. Another thing with it, not that you'd want to do this, I don't tell you to stab anyone, but um, it, it's pretty sharp in the end, so you could actually use it kind of as a weapon if need be. Um, so that's cool. Another thing that I always run with, no matter what, it is oops, my pepper spray or mace. Um, make sure you check with your jurisdiction because depending on where you live, they may or may not want you or allow you to have this, but um, I do run with this. It's kind of cool because it has like a little lock on it so it, I don't, you know, inadvertently like spray it or something. You definitely want to test it every so many months to make sure there's stuff in it and it still works. But um, I've had to use this a few times, not on people, but dogs. I usually try giving them a fair warning, hey, go home or whatever. But if they keep coming after me, I give them a good, you know, squirt. Not necessarily in the eyes, but in their general direction, usually the vapors of the the um, pepper spray will get to them and they'll go and once again or if they feel something wet they just kind of like wait what happened there and they kind of go their own way so knock on wood I've never been attacked by a dog but I've had some questionable circumstances um, another thing is although I've never had certain scary situations occur they do occur they are out there um, I've had someone kind of um, you know, passed me and then they went down a side street. Thankfully, I had a Good Samaritan and coworker actually see them as this happened. And she kind of checked in on the situation. She kept kind of watching them and then came back to me and she went to him again. She said, you know what, things just aren't right. I'd feel better if I could take you home. So she actually drove me home. Once again, don't get in a car with anyone you don't know. But if you know the person and it's a questionable circumstance, you know, just bite the bullet. You can always go back a little bit later and run, but it's better safe than sorry, especially if it's dark out and things like that. I also try to, some few no-brainer things, go on well-traveled areas, well-lit areas, things like that. Don't be cutting down side streets and things of that nature. I also always let my husband know where I'm at um, at all times. Um, you know, in general, like, hey, I'm going to run this route. He knows my routes that I run. I'll tend to leave notes. Um, the same goes for swims, although my mom doesn't agree with my swims. Sometimes I will go open water swims by myself. Um, sticking close to shore, um, I can touch and things like that. But I always let people know when I started, when I've ended. That way somebody knows where I'm at at all times. Um, it's not that I'm paranoid or anything like that. It's just a safety precaution. I always just, you know, just need to be safe. Um, also, I have a road ID here uh, on me at all times. People kind of always joke to me. They always say, well, that's if they find your body. Well, either way, it's still a safety precautionary measure. You don't necessarily have to have road ID. They have free ones out there. They have other brands. They're a great resource, just something to keep in mind. Um, depending on my length of run or ride, I sometimes will take my phone. I don't take my phone on short runs. 
um, just because it's a little bit bigger since it's a smartphone and things like that. But if, I, if I'm going on long runs, I always take a phone with me, so at least I have something. Um, pay phones aren't really necessarily available, but sometimes, you know, take a quarter or some sort of change. So even if you do go into like a business, say, hey, I can pay a quarter to make that phone call. Most people won't ask for anything, but um, those are a few things. So my question for you is what do you do in circumstances? Do you acknowledge people? What do you run with? What don't you run with? Um, any helpful hints for me when I'm out there running or riding and um, swimming? So smile and be grateful and let me know what you think.